How's it going, everybody? Welcome to The Daily Review, episode number 389. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've seen you guys. It the, Literally the last time I have posted a video was January. I think towards the end of January, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it is now May 30... Nope. 28th. Uh, and, and I'm here. I'm, I'm not in my house. This is not my house. This is my girlfriend's house. Uh, but I'm here to review a film for you, and I... It's been a long time, I think, since we've last spoken. A lot of things have been going on in my life. I've been pretty busy with work uh, and all sorts of things. But I saw a film last night, and I thought to myself, it would be a shame for me not to review uh, this movie for you guys. And that film is my most anticipated movie of 2011, and it was The Tree of Life. Uh, the Tree of Life is written and directed by Terrence Malick. You know him from Badlands, Days of Heaven, Thin Red Line, um, The New World. He's he's kind of notorious for being the filmmaker who doesn't who makes a movie and then disappears off the face of the earth for about 10 years, and then he churns out another movie. Uh, and and most of them are considered masterpieces by most critics. The Tree of Life uh, doesn't really have a structural narrative that you might expect most films to have. It sort of takes you on this journey through the beginning of time, through evolution, and it kind of stops in this 1950s suburban home in, in kind of a small town Texas where you meet Brad Pitt and Jessica Chastain who are uh, the parents to three boys uh, and they're, they're just kind of living the life. The, the story is told from different perspectives, mainly from the perspective of Jack, uh, the oldest son who is played by Sean Penn in his later years. And it kind of shows how he grew up through life and later how he's dealing with the memories of his life. And the film just kind of takes you on this emotional, uh, existential, spiritual, natural journey uh, through existence, I would almost say. Um, the Tree of Life is the type of film that I think a lot of people are going to hate. Um, and it's and for me personally, I think it is an absolutely stunning, beautiful, fantastic, brilliant piece of filmmaking. It is genuinely one of the most beautiful films I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, I can't think of, of many other movies that the cinematography <laughs> in this film is, is unbelievably well done. I mean, there is a sequence that takes place towards the beginning of this film for about 20 minutes that is literally the beginning of time. You see the Big Bang, you see dinosaurs, you see just everything, and it all looks fantastic. Terrence Malick's direction in this film is unparalleled. It, it's, it's truly filmmaking as an experience, or a film that is an experience. And by the end of this movie, there are people that are gonna get lost in this film, like I did, uh, and, and just sit there and kind of let everything wash over you and just sit there and experience what's going on. There are gonna be other people that sit there and kind of analyze everything that they're seeing and, and see what's going on, and I don't think that's the way to see this movie. I think if you're going to see The Tree of Life, you need to sit down in that theater for two hours and 18 minutes, and you, you need to allow yourself to be immersed in this world that Terrence Malick has created, because by the end of this film, uh, through the final images of this film, I felt my heart beating so fast and I had no idea really as to why and then when the final image of the film shows up on screen I felt this overwhelming sense of calm inside of my body that I can't explain and it's it's truly a film that I will not soon forget uh, and it, it includes some fantastic performances uh, namely from especially from Brad Pitt uh, as this kind of 1950s father I almost wouldn't even call him a a bad father he's just kind of that stereotypical 1950s dad where they all sit at the dinner table he forces his sons to call him sir and uh and and he loves them though deep down i think and it's it's a very interesting piece of filmmaking the way terrence malick kind of encompasses not only this family uh and and kind of the time that you spend with him but he he encompasses essentially life in this this small movie and it's I mean, it's, it's definitely not a small movie by any stretch of the means, but I just mean small as in the fact that it is a, just a movie, and he is encompassing kind of existence into this entire piece of film. Um, it, it's, it's an exceptional piece of work. It's the best film I've seen all year. It's, it's, it's going to stay with me for a very long time. I'm kind of out of words to say about it right now. 
I'm going to give the Tree of Life a 5 out of 5. Um, it is something quite amazing. Uh, I hope this webcam is working out for you guys because I don't have a video camera anymore. I hope I get to post some more reviews for you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time.